Hello everyone and welcome to next tutorial. Today I'll show you how to get your mod onto the workshop. The first thing you need to do is download Steam command line and install it. After you've downloaded the Steam command line file, that is the steamcmd.exe, you need to copy it somewhere. The best result is to copy it onto, the, your, onto your C drive Create a folder named steamcmd and copy the file over. After that you want to launch it and wait for it to update. As you can see it will download update about around 10 megabytes so it's not that big. And after update you need to log in so it can get your steam credits. Note that after you log in into the steam command line will be automatically disconnected from your Steam account on your client. So as you can see it's downloaded. Now it's downloading one more update. Because uh, the Steam isn't one big application but few smaller ones. As you can see it's downloading 6 megabytes update. So in the meantime we can set up the Unreal Engine. We have to go to the mod tool and config double click and set up a path, a path to the steam cmd executable so you want to do the path of steam c slash steam cmd slash steam cmd dot exe so that's the path where this little exe is located so after it downloads everything, you need to log in. So simply type login and your Steam account name. Type in your password. Note, it will not show up the, the password for security reasons. And it will ask you for your Steam code. After that, it's waiting for user info and should, should log you in soon. In the meantime, you've been disconnected from your Steam client. As you can see, this says Account Connect. So at the moment, everything is set up in Unreal and everything is set up here as well. Next thing you want to do, because the Unreal doesn't create it it's by itself, you need to go to the folder where is your bus simulator dot your project located open plugins folder now open the folder of your new plugin as you can see here I'm doing BS 18 so it's a folder BS 18 and we need to create a picture for the steam workshop so as you can see I have here sample picture and we need to re rename it to steam mod so it will work now we have steam mod as a picture here we can see that everything is okay so we can close it up for now as it will open from unreal and basically everything is ready so now all you have to do is cook the mod doesn't matter if you cooked it before it just the unreal engine doesn't remember it so you have to cook it again and after a while, after it cooks, this time we're not gonna copy it to the game, but we're up we're gonna upload it to Steam. As you can see, it's search for update again, logged us in, and the Steam console itself will upload the content. As you can see, uploading preview image. So that's the image we created before. Without that, it would fail, and we'll say we'll say error. As you can see, committing update success. Press any key to continue. So right now, at the moment, even though you seem to be offline, you can still access the Steam community. As you can see, if I open the decals and wraps, it will not show up. Why? Because it needs some time to process. In the meantime, you can just close your Steam client Open it again and log in because you need to edit some stuff. 
For me, I have a check check letter in here, so it doesn't work. It will show two two random letters instead of it. Right now, I need to log in. As you can see, we're back logged in. I'll we'll pause the download for now. Open up the workshop. Show your files in workshop. As you can see, we have the bus sim 18 logo decal. Right now, I want to change some stuff, so I will edit. As I said, I need to change the letter in here. And we can fill the description in here if you want. Save it. We can as well add some pictures of the decal on the bus, for example. Add a YouTube link or Facebook link, etc. And we can add also someone who could help you with the decal itself. So for example, I will show up some different decal, like SimUK decal in here. I have a picture in here. I have my YouTube channel in here. I have a description. And also someone can comment it as well. And if you change something, like for example in here, you can do a change log which, which will always say what did happen. So I wrote here that I changed the transparent background and you can update the mode the same way as we upload it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if, you, if this tutorial helped you and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.